This video is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to buy ApeCoin, even if you're brand new to crypto. So there's gonna be two big steps that we're gonna to do to make that happen, and we'll go through each of them on the screen here. So let's dive right in. Now the first step is you're going to want to create a KuCoin account. So I'm gonna leave a link down below to KuCoin. KuCoin is one of the biggest exchanges out there. It's also one of the best exchanges for people all over the world to be able to access a lot of smaller coins. So ApeCoin isn't one of the main top 10, top 20 coins out there. So KuCoin is probably the best current exchange for us to be able to buy, sell, and hold our ApeCoin. So you're gonna click that link down below, and what that link down below is going to do is get you set up with a KuCoin account. Now, the one issue with KuCoin is while it has access to a lot of coins and it's a very easy platform to understand, it's not very easy to get your fiat money, meaning US dollars, euros, pounds, those kind of things, those don't go into KuCoin very well. And so what we're gonna actually have to do is sign up for another exchange that allows us to onboard our money, meaning we're gonna take our US dollars in my case, turn them into crypto, then we're gonna send that crypto over to KuCoin, and then we're gonna exchange that crypto for the ApeCoin. So the second link down below will take you to Coinbase, and if you don't have a Coinbase account, you'll wanna get that set up because that's always gonna be the easiest way for you to onboard your money and offboard your money. Once you get a Coinbase account, you're gonna get something that looks like this, except obviously you'll have a different balance than me. And what we're gonna do is we're going to buy a coin called USDT inside of Coinbase. So if you go right here, once you get your account set up, you're gonna to wanna to go right up here to the top right and you're gonna to wanna to go to settings. Now over in our settings, you're gonna see there's a payment method section. You're gonna click over to that and you're gonna add a payment method. Now I'll give you a warning right now. Most of the payment methods, if you sign up right now for Coinbase, they're not gonna give you access for a few days to that account before they make sure that everything's kosher. However, PayPal typically is instant up to $1,000, meaning if you decide to use PayPal as your payment method, you'll be able to access the funds up to $1,000 a lot quicker. But add whatever payment method you'd like, and then you're gonna be good to go. You're gonna go right here to trade, and in the trade section, you're gonna go here where it says search all assets, and you're gonna type in USDT. You can see right here, it's gonna give you the option USDT. Now we're gonna buy however much that we're gonna to wanna to end up buying an ApeCoin in USDT. Okay, so in our case, I'm gonna buy $100 worth of USDT. I'm gonna pay with my PayPal account. We'll click preview buy and then we'll make the purchase. Once you've purchased the USDT, it'll give you that right there and you'll know that you now own however much you purchased in USDT. Now the way you'll know that it worked out is you're gonna to go to assets up here on the top left. You'll scroll down and you'll see that one of your assets is Tether USDT. Now what we need to do is we need to send that over to KuCoin and we'll actually be able to buy ApeCoin with Tether. So we're gonna go back to the KuCoin account that we've set up and you're gonna go right here, this little button right here, and it's actually, or sorry, this little button right here, and it's gonna give you a bunch of different accounts. Now, I'll leave a link to a KuCoin tutorial if you wanna learn more about KuCoin, but all we need right now is our main account. This is our account for sending and receiving with KuCoin. So we'll click main account, and then it'll give you a bunch of options. We can just type in USDT, and it'll pull up our USDT account right there. And we're gonna click deposit. Okay, now after we've clicked deposit, it's gonna ask for a network and we're gonna click on the ERC20 network. It's a little more expensive, but it's the only one we can access inside of Coinbase. And be very, very careful that you select the right network. So we've clicked USDT, we've clicked on Ethereum right here, and then we're good to go. We wanna take that address, we wanna copy it, and that's the address that we can send the USDT from Coinbase over to. So we'll go back to Coinbase and you can see these buttons at the top. One of them is send and receive. We're gonna click send right here. Then we're gonna click on the send button. Now you can see right here, we can send all that we have, which in this case is about $95 after fees and stuff. Now where it says two, we're gonna paste that big long address that we just got out of KuCoin, and that's all you've gotta do. We're gonna click continue right there, click continue, and it usually takes anywhere from five to 15 minutes on a bad day up to 30 minutes for it to send this USDT over to your KuCoin account. Now, once you've gone through that waiting period, you're gonna see right here, I already had a little bit of balance in my account, but you're gonna see right here, a USDT balance, okay, inside of your main account. And once again, you can type in USDT if you need to, but you'll see that that has been received. Now, all we've gotta do is exchange that for ApeCoin inside of KuCoin. So the way we're gonna do that is we actually have to move it from our sending and receiving account, which is our main account, into our trading account. So we're gonna go right here, we're gonna click transfer, and it's gonna give you these options right here. It should uh, default to the right accounts, but we wanna go from main to trading. We'll click the max and we'll click confirm right here. And it's gonna send all that over to our trading account, which is the account we use to, to make any trades. 
Next, you're going to go right up to here and you're going to click on spot trading in the top right here. And you're going to go up here where it has a pair that says, what are you exchanging for what? We're going to click on that and we're going to type in Ape. Now, currently, the only pair that ApeCoin trades with inside of KuCoin is USDT. That might be different when you watch, but that's where we're at right now. So we're going to click Ape USDT. And you can see it's a very confusing screen. Don't overthink this. All we've got to do is go down to the bottom right, right here. Okay, and you may have to type in a password or something right there to get this to show up. But we're going to swap our USDT for Ape, which means we're buying. Okay, what, what you see right here is what we're buying. So we're buying Ape. And you can see on the bottom right, I've got a buy option and I've got a sell option. So we're going to use this box right here because that's the buying option. We're going to click market. That's fine. And unless you're trying to buy a large order, you can click market and assume that you're going to get whatever the price is that it's currently showing, which right now is about $10.75. So we'll click buy. And then I'm going to select $100 or 100% right there. But you could do any percentage you can see, however much you want, at least however much USDT you have. Maybe we'll say 50%. And then we're going to click buy ape. You'll see a notification right here, it says it went through, and you can also see right here in your order history, right here that Ape has gone through. Now, if I go back up here to my assets right here, hover over assets, and I go to trading account, you'll be able to see inside of my trading account, if I scroll down, that I now have about $58 worth of Ape coin. And now I can do the exact thing in reverse whenever I want to sell it. I can trade it for other coins. I can do whatever I want inside of KuCoin inside of that trading portal. And that's the simplest way to buy ApeCoin right now is inside of KuCoin. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Again, if you like learning crypto without all the fluff, all the hype, I'm not telling you ApeCoin is going to the moon. I'm just showing you how to buy it. This is the channel for you. Go ahead and click subscribe and thanks so much for watching.